Hello everyone, welcome back to 104 Days of Beeps We Bought. For those who don't know, I'm doing this thing called 104 Days of Beeps We Bought. You can ask the people in the comments. They think it's awesome, right? They love it. And what are you doing? Smash the like button, smash it. <laughs> smash it! Basically what 104 Days of Beeps We Bought is, is where I'm uploading for 104 days straight for the Phineas and Ferb meme. Yes, that's, that's the reason why it's 104. So yeah. Make sure you come by and check us out because I've been working really hard on it. 104 has been my life for over a year now. So come and say hi. Come say hi. I've been going live as well for often, I, I think, maybe, at this point. But yeah, subscribe, like, come check us out. Hi. Have you ever wanted to come to America? Have you ever wanted to live in America? Or maybe just even visit, but you just don't know the laws and you're kind of unaware of what some of them are? Wait. What? <laughs> Wait, okay. I wanted this intro to be like fascinating. I don't know if what I said right there was like uh bad. So don't look too into it, okay? God dang it for the love of One of my biggest fears is unknowingly breaking a law. <laughs> doing something that's stupid or like and I get in trouble for it and I'm like I swear to god I didn't know there's a word for this. there's a term for this like a good example would be one of these that I'm about to read you so if you're in one of these states make sure you comment down below like wow I can't believe this is one of the laws that were passed years ago these laws are as of October 25th 2020 so I don't know if they're outdated. I mean, they kind of are, but some of them, they just kept them for some reason, just because it's funny, right? And first one we're starting off with is Wyoming. That's a state? No intoxicated skiing. I almost said screaming. <laughs> I've always wanted to go skiing. In Wisconsin, eh? Cheese standards are regulated. So the standard must be fine, highly pleasing, and free from undesirable flavors and odors. In West Virginia, no lewd or lascivious. Define lascivious. Lascivious means of a person, manner, or gesture, feeling or revealing an overt and often offensive sexual desire. So in West Virginia, you can't do nothing. Uh, you, you can't. Oh, but this, okay, so this law was repealed in 2010. Okay, so, so, okay, so we're good, guys, don't worry. Washington, it is illegal to kill Bigfoot in Washington. I heard about that, it's illegal. It, uh. Yeah, no bullying Sasquatch, man. <laughs> what? What Sasquatch crossing? <laughs> There's a sign? Virginia, no hunting on Sundays unless it's a raccoon. <laughs> Uh, uh so this is kind of weird but in vermont no forbidding people from putting up clothes lines it's illegal in vermont to prohibit clothes lines the law forbids regulations that prohibit clothes lines or other energy devices based on renewable resources so that's that's good i almost misunderstood that one i thought it was illegal to put them up so i guess that's good too you know i guess that's a good law that's that's okay right that's not that that's not that outrageous utah it's illegal to cause a catastrophe in, in, in Utah. How can you cause it? Okay, state law defines a catastrophe as a widespread injury or damage caused by weapons of mass destruction, explosion, fire, flood, avalanche, or building collapse. Oh, I mean, I mean, yeah, I mean, uh, oh, okay, <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> I, at the same time, I was like, how could you cause a catastrophe? So I don't even know how to do it. So I guess that's even more okay, right? In a weird way, I guess. Uh, Texas, you can get married by proxy. I almost didn't pronounce that word. I almost said proximity. God damn Among Us, dude. <laughs> Tennessee, you can't hold public office if you have been in a duel. <laughs> what kind of duels do you think we're doing nowadays? <laughs> What? In South Carolina, no seducing unmarried women. In Rhode Island, biting off someone's limb could earn you 20 years in prison. I mean, that seems to make sense. In Pennsylvania, oh God. What is this? No bartering infant children. If you live in Pennsylvania, don't try selling your child. Oregon, no practicing occult arts. I mean, makes sense because that's scary. Oklahoma, no eavesdropping. What? What? Wait, how can you? Wait, wait, how can you? How can you? Is it obvious to catch someone eavesdropping? So in Ohio, if your dangerous animal escapes, 
you have to report it to the authorities. Oh, by the way, I'm getting this information from USA Today. I forgot to, I forgot to say that. I forgot to say that. In North Dakota, you need permission to exterminate a pigeon. Pigeons are mean. In North Carolina, you can't have a meeting in a silly costume. If you're in New York, don't even try wearing a mask unless you're at a party. This is, this is like silly masks, like uh, Michael Myers or, you know, Jason Voorhees, you know what I mean? In New Mexico, idiots can't vote. What does this mean? <laughs> For over a century, New Mexico law stipulated that idiots were ineligible to vote. In 2016, the discriminatory, this, the discriminatory language, which referred to mentally disabled people, was finally repealed. Okay, so this is repealed. Should I be saying if some of these laws are, have been repealed? In New Jersey, no bulletproof vest while committing murder? If you're planning to commit a serious crime in New Jersey, leave your bulletproof vest at home. <laughs> what the fuck? So, in New Hampshire, pregnant women can technically commit murder. Th that's what this web- that's what the website says. <laughs> okay, in 2017, New Hampshire passed an anti-homicide law defining a 20-week fetus as a person, clarifying that the law did not apply to pregnant women who might need an abortion. However, legislators quickly amended the law after it became clear that its vague language could have permitted pregnant women to commit any murder without consequences. <sighs> Oh my god, dude. I'm scared. What the frick? In Nevada. How do you say Nevada, by the way? Do you say Nevada or Nevada or Nevada? No lying down on the sidewalk. If you're planning on lying down on the sidewalk in Nevada, think twice. Personally, I think uh, to all my New York people out there, that should be a law in New York. That should be a law there because you got shit to do in New York, man. Come on. So in Reno, Nevada, it's illegal to sit down or lie down on the public sidewalk. So it appears to be that in Nebraska you can't get married uh, if you if you have a, a sexually transmitted infection or disease. So in Montana, live entertainment must remain on the stage. Alrighty, that's good to know, I guess. So in Missouri, they have limitations, strict limitations on garage shells. Basically what they mean by that is like you can't have like two around like the same area or something like that, you know? In Mississippi, okay, okay, okay. So in Mississippi, it's a crime to have more than one illegitimate child. So if you're, you have to be married in order to have a child. You can have one, but then you can't have any more after that. If you have to get married, then ha you can have as many kids as you want, I assume. I assume in Minnesota, bingo is only allowed two days a week. Bruh, bruh. It says, can't let things get too wild. <laughs> In Michigan, no intoxication on the train. Next time you're enjoying a night out in Michigan, you better think carefully about how you're going to get home. According to state law, it's illegal for a person in an offensive state of, of intoxication to enter or be on, to enter or be on or remain upon. Dude, they need to stop. Oh my God. To enter or be on or remain upon any railway train or, Oh, as a passenger. Oh my god. This video is so broken. It is pathetic. Massachusetts. In Massachusetts, you must sing the national anthem correctly. <laughs> I mean, I guess. <laughs> but I don't think they should deserve to be punished for it. Unless you're actually mocking it, then I guess that could be, like, rude. So in Maryland, no cursing allowed. I've seen this one before. I thought this one, I think this one is so funny because when I went to Washington, D.C., it, uh, luckily it's only, like, in a town called Rockville, right? Right? Shout out to my Rockville viewers out there. But I went to Washington, D.C., and I was, like, I was, like, walking around for the first time ever in awe, just looking at... The architecture and stuff i was like oh shit i was just walking around and i was like what <laughs> it was so funny but it's only in rockville right hey siri how many miles away is rockville from washington dc rockville is about 21 miles from washington by car oh that's pretty close how's it going bros my name welcome to friday oh, wait Shut up, clock. So in Maine, you're not allowed to dance at a bar that sells alcohol unless the bar has a permit. That's a mouthful, but I mean, I guess. <laughs> in Louisiana, bear wrestling is prohibited. There are bears around here? 
What? I want to read this. Next time you're looking for an adrenaline rush in Louisiana, maybe avoid wrestling a bear. Louisiana law states that individuals involved in bear wrestling matches defined as a match or a contest between one or more persons and a bear for the purpose of fighting or engaging in physical altercation are guilty of bear wrestling. Oh, oh. In Kentucky, no reptiles in religious services. That's kind of weird. Kansas, no ice cream on cherry pie. How would they know? In Iowa, no buying cars and RVs on Sundays. What? In Indiana, pie is actually equal to 3.2. 3.2. No. Oh, it's 3.14159265355. Is that was that right? 3595. No, I don't know. <laughs> How? No! How can you pass a bill? Redefining the value of a freaking number. Thankfully, for math students across the state, a mathematician intervened and the bill stalled in the Senate and was never passed. Okay, thank God. Oh my god. Why would they do why would they do that? Why would they do that? In Illinois, what are they doing? Oh yeah, it's illegal to die baby baby chicks. So don't die your chicks like a different color okay that's weird in idaho cannibalism is illegal except in extreme circumstances <laughs> i mean i've read impressive survival stories that involved like you know people eating each other cannibalism and uh but they were all they were all dead anyway it was like a plane crash and they were stranded in the mountains and everything and it was a kind of an impressive story but the public really once they found out they really wasn't good for the survivors but i guess they they pat they went through it you know they survived, they made it, they made it out alive. And I think if I'm not mistaken, forgive me if I'm wrong, but I think they were like seen as impressive heroes or something in the city or something. I don't know. I saw that story somewhere, I don't remember. Oh, it was a uh, YouTube video from uh, maybe the Bright Side or Infographics show from on YouTube, the YouTube channel. Shout out to them, They, I love their videos. In Hawaii, billboards are illegal. So I've read this one before. Billboards are illegal or any kind of huge advertisement, you know, erected into the sky. It is illegal and it's, the purpose of that is to protect the precious and beautiful views of Hawaii. Which I guess it makes sense, you know, it's not that kind it's not really that weird. I mean, yeah, kind of weird. In Georgia, no eating fried chicken with a fork. You gotta eat it right. You gotta eat it right. <laughs> I've been to Georgia. Not for long though. I've only went to Atlanta in the, in the airport. I, I didn't really go around Atlanta. I wish I did. <gasps> that would have been so cool. In Florida, in Florida, accidental ban on all computers. What does this mean? Florida ran into a bit of trouble in 2013 when it accidentally banned all computers in the state. What? A confusingly worded law designed to ban internet cafes involved in illegal gambling prompted a lawsuit arguing that the ban could be interpreted to apply to any internet connected device. Oh my god. That was huge, I bet. I haven't even heard that, I don't think. Maybe I did, I just didn't. No. Delaware. Pawnbrokers can't take artificial limbs. What? Oh. Oh, I know what that. Okay. <laughs> it says, thought you can make a few bucks off your relative's old wooden leg? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. In Connecticut, town records can't be kept where liquor is sold. What does that mean? In 2002, it was illegal to, it was illegal in Connecticut to store towns, to store towns, god damn it. In 2002, it was illegal in Connecticut to store town records in locations where liquor is sold. It's not clear if any specific incident sparked the initial passage of this law. Okay, fair enough. In Colorado, no outdoor sofas. Bro, I saw a toilet outside the other day. It was crazy. In California, no eating frogs that die in frog jumping contests. Okay, okay. Arkansas, how much you want to bet this is, yep, is to pronounce Arkansas correctly. <laughs> in Arizona, no spitting on the sidewalk. That is a good ass law. I appreciate that. <laughs> spitting is so nasty, dude. Oh my God. Do it in a sink or bathtub or something. I don't know. Just like I was walking. I swear to God, this happened one day. I was walking and someone literally spat and it landed in front of me and I stopped and I, bro, I looked at them. They didn't even look at me. They, they didn't even think I was there. They spit and I was like, I was like, dude, what? They didn't even look behind them. They could have spat on somebody and I'm not exactly the tallest person. So they could have spit right on top of my head. In Alaska, don't waste your moose. 
What? Don't mess around with moose in Alaska. If a hunter takes a moose, certain parts of the animal, including the head, heart, liver, kidneys, stomach, or end hide, are legally required to be salvaged for human use. Okay. Alabama, no silly string allowed. What? And that's all 50 states. I think I, I think that was all of them, right? That was all of them. I said all of them. I didn't miss any of them, I don't think. If I read your state, which I most likely have, <laughs> let me know in the comments below what you think about these uh, laws and stuff. But yeah, shout out to all the people from these states. Y'all are all cool, I guess. I hope that you guys check the channel out and uh, see what we do. We've, we've had a few cool videos go out so far. I think you guys would like them. Press the manifestation button. The manifestation button looks like this. And if you press it, something good will happen in your day and in my day. So make sure you guys click it. And if you subscribe, it gives you 100 years of good luck. There you go, baby. So yeah, that was all the, that was all the weirdest laws passed in every state. That was uh, one law, actually. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I don't know if this was a good video. I'm kind of bad at reading, but uh, if you enjoyed it, leave a like for part two, I guess. I guess I can do, I can try to find something else for a different country. That would be cool. Yeah, I don't know if I'll do another one like this, but yeah. Bye-bye. Beep Tweebot.